Hey everybody, welcome to my 11th episode of Secret Sunday. Today I am joined by Gio Perez. Thank you for having me. What's up, what's up? Nothing. We're, this is the first time I'm about to smoke on my podcast at live. Usually I do it behind the scenes. And it's Mr. Loudmouth doing it first here with uh, Sammy Cheeks. What? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, not, yeah, yeah. Sammy. Not, a- I was going to say Sandy, but then it's Sammy. Yeah, but what's Cheeks? You know, like Sandy Cheeks? Oh, like Sa- like the 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 squirrel from uh, no, bro. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking. You know about. what SpongeBob? Oh my Sandy god, cheeks. No, but why did you watch? Every time people ask me that, I'm like, I'm too old to have watched SpongeBob. So am I. But I watched the movie, and the movie was great. But I would watch like some episodes. I got Does your daughter watch it? Yeah, yeah she used to she's watch of it. the age. Yeah, I had friends that watched it. They would like, like, yo, this shit is hilarious. Yeah. You gotta smoke and watch it. And then I, I watched the movie. I smoked and watched the first movie, and I was like, yo, this shit is amazing. Is it? It was supposed to be on uh, Adult Swim. It was supposed to be an adult cartoon. Oh, have you been selling me this before? Because it sounds familiar. Mm-hmm. You told me this before? Yeah, you're just a piehead and forget. Oh, shut up. Well, tell the people about yourself. Oh, shit. Well, uh, let's see. I'm a comedian. My name is Gio Perez. I also go by Mr. Loudmouth. I also go by the Who Dominican Zombie. Nobody, just me. Yeah. Well, I was about that, to say, I've I, never no, heard. I, some people have called me that, like, because I had my loudmouth one t- comedy. One time in your, in your life? No, a few times. Like, oh, look, it's Mr. Loudmouth. Like, because uh, that's what my comedy was called during the pandemic. I called it Loudmouth Comedy. Oh. And I was like, oh, Mr. Loudmouth. And then Derek called me the Dominican Zombie. And then um, the ladies Oh, that's call, fitting. Yeah, the Dominican What do the ladies call you? They call me Poppy Choppy Cheese. Okay. Because I got ha- that bodega meat. Okay. Jesus She's heard this a thousand times yes. already. Um, I've also had you on here because every episode, including Derek's last week, everybody shits on Dominican men. So you're here to, to, to shit prove on them us more. right. Yeah, to prove yeah, us right. Shit on Dominican more, men more. You know that your, pe- your men are the worst, right? No, that's not true. There are worse people out there. I mean, in dating, there's nobody worse. I mean, there's women. <laughs> nah, nah. Me, D- Dominican men. Dominican are, men are the worst. Great. I mean, there's a balance. We're great. Anymore. I'll be dead. We're great, but we're also terrible. There's a there's it's a yin and a yang. What do you? What's great? All right. So we're very uh, affectionate and caring and loving. And so what? We have a second family, but <laughs> we're so loving and caring. And we but we still, yeah. We fuck all different women. Yeah, you could you could be with one guy but, who barely shows you any of that, and he's not. Like fucking with nobody else, he might as well be cheating on you if he's not showing you any love. You know there is a happy medium, though, right? No, (laughs) it's just extremes. Nah, Dominican men. I'm in therapy because of you guys. The trauma. The trauma. Wait, wait. Dominican men. Boys. Well, no. No, I meant like more than one. Yeah. (laughs) How many? How many trauma? A couple. A couple. See, that's your fault. Now I'm starting to see you're the problem. No, it was two. Wait, two and then what? There's been two that that are have been the worst. One one was the worst. How uh, bad? Is what, that the one that uh, that what? Can I can I talk about? Could about you told what? Me, like uh, I just said, I can't, I can't do this. All right. Uh, like some the, guy that, spit on your uh, face no, outside no, no. of bed. No. He wasn't Dominican. No. All right. <laughs> I thought that was a Dominican. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but there has been. You're like, can we talk about this? <laughs> Um, no, there's been, no, there's been a few and they're the, they're the worst because even when you think you got a good one, you're like, Oh, I got a different kind of Dominican. They're the worst. They're good. They're good ones out there. I I, I know some good, like I have uncles that, you know, only, only have cheated one a couple women. times. No, I haven't cheated at all. They were good. But then the wives are whores. You know what I mean? That's how it works out. You can't have, there's no, like, I feel like the guys that are like the poster child of what most women want. Those guys are usually like simps, and they get walked all over by women. Cause I just seen this. I see a lot of. I see my uncles who treat the, except for one. But like that, that was they were like a rare case. They're really like old school. Okay. I don't know how they were when they were younger, but like all my uncles who were out had multiple families. You know, cheating on their wife. Their wives, like you know what I mean, stuck by them. Well, not for long. I mean, eventually. Yeah, after, eventually after, they leave. I yeah, was like, what after, are you talking yeah, about? After, yeah, but they, they, at, when That's they after they're in their fourth family. Yeah, when they're fourth family. Yeah, when <laughs> they're, they're like, 40. no more. Yeah. And, um, and then, like, I see my uncles who were like, that were good to their wives. And then the wives were the ones that were cheating. So this is this is my theory, right? Oh when, cheat first. <laughs> cheat. <laughs> but cheat it's, a, it's a cheat or get cheated on world. 
That is, oh my, that's the you most toxic thing. You're not doing a on. good job. You're this not is, doing a good job. No, I'm telling you, this is a fact, right? Everybody cheats. At the end of the day, everybody cheats. You can look at oh any God. any couple. Show me one couple, right? Even the ones that are in the limelight, the famous ones. They, oh that's my God. The worst, that's the worst example. That's like another world. No, it's not. They're just like us. You think there's not a bunch of Will and Jada's out there in the world? Yeah, I mean, yes, but also like when you're on that scale, the amount of women or men or, or temptation in general is on a much grander scale. So you can't, of course, they're always breaking up because they're living a life we can't even imagine. The amount right. of pussy that is being thrown at these men is outrageous. Yes, I know that. It's right? different than a regular life. So, of course, that doesn't work out for so them. So just because you have more temptation, yeah. it justifies it more? I don't, I'm not saying it justifies it. I'm just saying oh. that's like I can't even, that's a whole other world. Yeah. Because they're never together. They're always traveling. It's like, it's a different thing. Dominican I mean, men true. will find a way to cheat and still make it home for dinner. You see what I'm saying? My uncle, I had uncles. They only cheated <laughs> like, in the Isn't morning. You're like, isn't that nice? <laughs> That's, yo, my, think about this, right? You, you, you know your husband's home. Like, he goes out. Like, he was like, yo, this is the secret to not getting caught cheating. Do it in the morning time. Because women I won't hate- suspect it. They won't. Listen, fellas, good note. If you're going to cheat, I hate cheat you. early in the day, right? Because if you don't answer your phone from like 12 to 2, she's not thinking, like, oh, my God, he's like, you he's know what I mean? He's thinking you're busy at work. Yeah, oh, he's busy at work or he's then doing something. Then you better something. be about your money, though, because when, why aren't you working? No, but I mean, you could just go on your lunch break. Also, I love that 12 to 2 is the morning for you. That's the life of a comedian. No, <laughs> no, no. I wake up early. I got kids. Do so, you? Yeah, I wake up. On my own, like seven o'clock, eight, seven eight o'clock without an alarm clock. That's ridiculous. Uh, I'm a fucking grown ass man. Yeah, you know, I'm in my thirties. You can't. I sleep like six hours. I'm good. I'm good with six. I'm in my thirties and I need my sleep. Well, you, women sleep longer than yeah, me. we you do. Guys need more beauty I, sleep. I literally cannot keep my eyes open. Like if I yeah. lay on this couch and put the TV on, it's a wrap and fall asleep. But I'm the same way. So yeah, I, I can go. I'm good. I could go the day without f- like with four to six hours. I want to say four, like six hours. But if I sit down anywhere for too long, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I put a movie on, I put a podcast on, it's and I'm rap. not moving. It's over. It's it's. Yeah. I can find. I can fall asleep anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, Heroin that's... told me that. Oh Jesus! <laughs> the people you didn't tell the people that. Oh yeah, I, I, I used to do heroin. I sniffed it. I didn't inject it, just in case. It's there's... better that way. Yeah. You inject it. Injecting it is better. Injecting it I is strong. I was being sarcastic, oh, but you, yeah. you're saying it like you're better than somebody else. Oh, no, I am better than those fucking junkies. <laughs> <laughs> I was just a drug addict. Those guys were junkies. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> That's so a difference. Stupid. Once you use a needle, you're a fucking junkie. <laughs> you're so stupid. Um, okay, so you did a terrible job of defending Dominican, Dominican men, and I think you're probably going to do I a worse I did job very well. with these confessions. All right. Um, broke up with my baby mom five years ago. And last week we had sex for the first time since. Brought up old feelings, but she's married. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I thought you were talking about me. Like, how do you know? I, mean, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Gio started sweating. I, yeah, this was like one of those Nardwar, the Servion fucking interviews. Like, wait, what? <laughs> Who'd you talk to before this? Did I tell you something when I was drunk at a club one day? Did you hear my set or something? No. <laughs> All right, so the guy broke up with his baby mother five years ago. Five years ago. They haven't fucked around since. And but they she, just did. They just did. And she's married now. Yeah. I mean, what's wrong with that? <laughs> that was his first. Wait, how, how did... Wait, wait, wait. That was his first? No way. He was there first. <laughs> no. You don't really believe that. <laughs> no, no. I don't believe that. But uh, did she leave? Oh, my God. Like, did you she leave him? and Derek always asking for more. I don't have that information, bro. That's What I read you is all I have. If I all had right. more information, I would tell you. Cause, all right, all right, all right. I'll say this right now. If they had broke up and it was broken up for a while, and then she got with her new husband, I'm like, nah, that's fine. Like, you know what I mean? You're fucked up. You're wrong. But, and also, too, you got to realize, man, like, baby mama, that's just like that a kid came out of your vagina. That's yours for life. You know what I mean? That's how you feel? Yeah. I mean, like, I don't, I don't mean like I'm entitled to it, but like, if I fuck around with her, it shouldn't be a big deal. I haven't fucked around with okay, my baby mother that was since. Okay, going to be my next. 2016. Oh shit! Yeah. Do you ever do you ever think about it? I mean, yeah, she still looks. You know, she just had a little <laughs> surgery, looking good and shit. She got a stomach, stomach, tummy, tummy tuck, whatever. Okay. Yeah, she always had a fat ass, so it just made it look bigger now. So I was Look just like, I was looking at her, and I was like, mm. but you but, don't because it's too complicated. Yeah, way too complicated. She had another kid with somebody else already, so that's kind of weird to get back with her, and because I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna get with her just to kill time and fuck around yeah yeah and you're in a good space with her too you don't want to fuck that up oh yeah i'll fuck that up easy 
<laughs> You're like, oh, that's not even, I don't even care about that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just like, look, look what I choose to do with my life right now. You know what I mean? Like, if I got back with her, I'm pretty sure this would, like, this would have to be one of the things I go, like, I, I can't do comedy that way, the way I wanted to. Oh, okay. Uh, and also, do you too, feel like that with anybody that you get with, or or just her specifically? No, I mean, it's mainly with everybody, but with her, I'd definitely want to do it right. You know what I mean? Yo, you look like my cousin Vincent. All and right, it's just. This just got weird. All right. <laughs> yo, I'm looking at you weird. and I'm like, oh my God, you guys look so much alike. And, yo, know, they be fucking cousins, right? So that's. they. That just got weird. She was like <laughs> looking at me. She's like, oh my God, you look so much Who's they? That's very Dominican. Yeah, you're right. That That's is Dominican. Very Dominican. <laughs> that is Dominican. I'm projecting right now. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh my God. No, just because I called you my cousin, you were like, Are you trying to fuck me? Are you trying to fuck me right now? You <laughs> fucking freak. No, nah, but um wait, I was uh, what my baby oh, about yeah, you were saying about um how you feel like you wouldn't be able to do comedy in this way. If that oh, and yeah. I asked you is if that is do you think that's for every woman? Oh, or yeah, just yeah. her specifically? No, I think it's with most women right now. Cause so you don't think you could be in a relationship? I tried. Didn't it didn't work. work. Uh, I mean, think about like you have plans with your girl. I mean, all right. And put like, let's say it's you, right? You're dating a guy and he's like, um, hey, we got plans tonight. We're going to go eat. And then I'm like, I hit you with that text. Oh, yeah. yeah I just got to go do a spot at Tiny Cupboard right yeah. now. And then like you already know what it is. And it's like, all right, you can either come along or just stay home. And yeah. if you don't want to be, if you're not in the mood for comedy that night, you're not going to want to go not around. Gonna go, yeah. And on top of that, your plans just got canceled, so you're pissed. Uh-huh. And it's just like that that's always an issue. It's never an issue at first. Girls are always like, oh, yeah, it's cool. Chase your dreams. It's so much yeah. fun. And then, you know, a couple months in, it's like, do you really need to do all these shows? Like, For you real? Just, yeah. Like, at least three people. One I talked to and two people I dated during comedy have given me that. Like, you don't have to go so hard. Like you can That's even my crazy. mom. My mom's the same way. My mom's like, "Yo, why are you out there all the time? Like you don't." She thinks like I could do comedy once a week and then yeah, and I'll then make just, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's because. But your mom sees like the best in you. She's probably like, "You're." She's like, "Yo, no, stay the, at Walmart. Next- Work your way up at Walmart." That's what my mom thinks. <laughs> my mom's a janitor. Like they work there. They're immigrants yeah, and it. they work to a certain point. Yeah. But their mind doesn't see past that because they came from, of course, from like dirt poor beginnings so they're just like they don't fathom that you yeah, know yeah she has like a like eighth grade education mm-hmm. out no. there like not oh, even okay, not even here not even here like my father has a high school education out there yeah so like they're both janitors and they look at it like they think like oh you work the nine to five for 20 years you save your money mm-hmm. and then you retire yep I'm like yeah, I'm, that doesn't work anymore. oh my god that's Retirement my parents not, they're not immigrants not but they're they have that mindset so yeah. like Yo, they're like, you have to have a job that has benefits. That's the only thing yeah. that matters. Yeah. Literally, that's it. And then finally this year, they're they're like, just live your dreams because yo, that, I'm, that I'm still waiting for that. Year. I'm still waiting for my mom. Yo, you know what you need to do? You need to just fall into a depression. That's what <laughs> happened to me. I was super depressed no. working in my corporate job. And I, my mom was, I was just sitting in my mom's house, like looking out the window. It was like a fucking movie. And she was, was like, like are you okay? <laughs> and I was like, no. Your hair's Miserable. all a mess and that granny like ponytail. Exactly, the rain's you got on like the a, a dusty ass knitted cardigan that you've been wearing for days. A um, dingy but, ass yeah. white tee that's like stretched out in the neck. Just <laughs> Sam, go wash your ass. You've been staring at that window. The cats don't even want to go next to you, mom. And you smell that. like tuna. That would be my mother for real. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right. Well, this lady, what I, I mean, this guy, it's a guy. He broke up with his baby mom. I yeah, don't know. I don't wrong. like it at all. But that's exactly why I've never dated a man that had children, because it's Good. a no for me. Like you're always gonna go <laughs> Good back. Good luck now. <laughs> yeah, I Everybody know. That's why I date now. young. Oh yeah, you're fucking cougar. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but no, I can't do it. I refuse. Unless, unless the baby mother's dead. God damn! I, that's the only way. <laughs> so you want? So you want to? You want to be a stepmother to kids who were fucking traumatized and, <laughs> yeah. and grow well, up with that I'm, trauma no, of not having the mother. Hopefully, she died like during childbirth, right? And then I meet them when they're young, and then I can just step in as the mom. <laughs> oh, you want to just replace? You don't want baby so mama drama. To, so I don't have to. Yeah, I don't want baby, baby mama, mama drama. drama. I don't want any of it, and I don't. I don't mind a kid. So have you ever dated a guy with a kid? No, I would never. And you dated a Dominican. Yeah. Wait, but did you, you guys were. Young I didn't know any. I didn't know. Maybe How old are these guys? Um, one I dated from when he was like twenty five to like thirty one. And the other one, how old was he? The other one was young. He was like twenty one. Uh, he was like, yeah, we didn't date for long. 
You're so, just... do you are you telling me you sure they didn't have kids? I mean, <laughs> you know for a fact, or I'm pretty sure. I don't know about I don't know about the the one that was 21, but the one that was with for a long time. No, I don't. I know he doesn't have kids, and he still doesn't have kids. Oh, he might be shooting blanks. Maybe. Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have said that. You should might get clipped. You might want to take that out. We've I'm had an episode to. pulled in. Yeah. I am in it. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Just bleep it out. Yes, I'm going to have to. <laughs> Don't <laughs> ruin my fucking page. Don't ruin my fucking channel. Yeah, we've had one. We've had an episode pulled of ours. They really do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, dude, my, my numbers go down. Like, I did that. I posted that vaccine bit. And... Like it was just soaring. Like the numbers was going. I was like, yeah, "Oh shit!" Yeah, the one I with your daughter. No, 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 no. The the one, um, not that one. That one did all right. The one with my stand up that I just posted. Oh, the stand up oh. about the vaccine, and like it was doing pretty pretty well. But then out of nowhere, it just kind of stopped. And then like my brother told me he reposted it, and his numbers went down. My story numbers just like went down to like down to sixty, and I was just like, "What the fuck?" Like for 24 hours and then my brother told me the same thing he's like everybody that they said that the numbers went down to 60 like their views They're like yo i was just only getting like about 60 views 60 60 oh my god everybody got the same amount for reposting my video that's crazy on their story because they get the warning that it's vaccine and it drops you in the algorithm holy shit yeah man Talk yo i hate that algorithm speech shit. that's how they control speech now oh, oh my god they can't okay control like, it I, here. don't please don't yeah let's yeah, go yeah, please, yeah, please don't stop. do this <laughs> don't ruin that's what happens when you smoke right before <laughs> oh my god this is about to turn into a the joe rogan people. this is about yeah. to turn into a joe rogan podcast <laughs> it will quick it will <laughs> um okay so i don't know bro, she's married bro so no i'm assuming she's gonna have kids with this dude or she already does yeah there's so also, it's a no uh, i don't like it yo i hate that I mean... I would lose my mind. This baby mother, though. It doesn't matter. No, there's no way. I could never date a guy with uh, with a baby mother. I could not do it. You say that, but the next thing you know, you no, get caught up. You no. click with a guy, and all of a sudden, you're like, oh... That shit has been instilled in me since I'm a kid. You start thinking about mom matching to pajamas and the holidays and shit. Like, oh, we're all going to wear plaid pajamas. I know. I would, you would have me, I would definitely be like, I like that. It's like, oh, I can be a mom without giving birth. I don't have to lose my figure. <laughs> I'm going to be at the kids like soccer game with like mom yeah. number two. I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> Thing two. <laughs> oh, the shirts. like they, they all, It's all the matching shirts. When one says like the father, the kid. Oh my God, yeah. And then the stepmom. Yeah, that's going to be me. <laughs> Nobody ever puts that one like no they always put it. they always yeah. put mom number two. Yeah. Oh my god no but my mom told me from a young age not to do it because my That's dad had age now. my dad had a kid right. from a marriage before and it was just complicated made it really complicated and she would be like if if you fall in love it's fine but if you could avoid it yeah. avoid it and I just have always thought I'm like I'm not doing it yeah I avoided it for most of my twenties but once I got in my thirties I'm like ah. Slim pickings now. <laughs> it is really slim pickings. I it can't do it. Slim. On the apps, when people are like, I have a kid. I'm like, nope. I you do the away. apps? Of course you do that. I No, I mean, I stopped, but because I can't. It's the worst. A lot of creeps, right? Yo, it's, yeah. It's just the worst. And it's like, you think someone's, you can't catch a vibe on an app. Yeah, it's so, words I, don't so, translate the same. No, yeah. and then even when you're texting, like people, I went, on, I went on a date with a guy. I thought he was so cool on text. And then yeah. it was awful in person. And I was like, oh. You just can't. I guess you sh people say you should FaceTime, but it's like, I'd rather be dead than FaceTime with someone I don't know. Yeah. Especially, like, my game is just to, you know, call girls ugly. <laughs> like, oh, you're ugly. I've had sex with girls 10 times better looking than you. <laughs> that's oh, so using my game. And that doesn't translate well in text. So you and Derek, you guys <laughs> no, took the same class. No, no. I just ignore women. <laughs> I, I just know. ignore the shit out of them. <laughs> yeah, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> is that really your thing? Yo, you're so grown. Do you really do that to women? I mean, I wouldn't. No, no. I play maybe play coy a little bit, or just no, keep it that. distance. Because you look at it like I look at it like this: women get so much. They, you know, like, especially like an attractive woman or something like they're gonna get so much attention. Like you're competing with so many different guys, right? So it it, it like almost psychologically fucks with no, them knowing doesn't. that like. It, like oh wait why is he not and who told you that Listen, it, man, no just that's just you myself. as a man telling yourself yeah as a woman no if i'm interested in somebody fucking i'm right. interested in me if you don't then it's like fuck you what do you think this is now i'm annoyed that you have i'm like no but you don't want a guy who's up your ass either not you have, in an annoying to be way, a but balance. if i like somebody yeah. yes like yeah of course if i like you then be up my ass 
Yeah, but you're crazy though. No, that's just what it is. That's just how grown. toxic relationships start. No, every I don't time. Mean up my ass all you the time. You always have to keep. Well, one, it's always oh good to God. keep a distance because you get to know the person too. If you jump into something too quick and it just becomes very sexual at first, you're just right, building a sexual bond. Yeah, but who talked about but, doing a sexual bond? I'm no, I'm just about- saying like it's better like like taking your time and getting to know the person if you like them. If you just want to fuck, yeah, you know, play your games. But if if you're if you're like, oh, I could see my per, I could, oh, I'm interested in this person. Yeah, you get to know him first, and then like now that I'm That's older, what I'm talking about. I look at red flags. If I see certain red flags, I'd be like, oh, she stalks her ex boyfriend. See, yeah. <laughs> <That's-> <laughs> she talks about uh, punching men in the chest in public <laughs> and arguments and. Crazy shit, and just like, oh, all right, how yeah. I know that's not going to be me one day. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, uh, obviously, yes, but I'm saying you can do that by being up my ass. You can be like, let's go hang out, and then get to know somebody. The, I'm saying you being playing coy, like you're not interested or not texting or whatever, whatever your your game is. No, when I click with somebody, then yeah, you're, then it, you're, yeah. it flows well. Yeah. But if it seems like a little like. A little weird, then I'll. Then you'll okay. Yeah, well, I'm not sure, and then that you you can usually to, tell okay, from well, that, that where it's just like, I mean, like uh, one of the girls I'm talking to now, she was like, I thought you were rude, because she was just like, oh, you just walk past me, you would you would just kind of say hi, you would never talk, but you would say hi, like you, I'm not like completely, yeah. oh hey, how you doing, like smile, and then just keep it and moving. Just keep moving. It's like why is he not talking to me? It's almost like that. Well, and then, I'm trying to figure out where you were. Now, nah, mind your business. <laughs> I can't say too much. Yeah, that sounds okay. We'll talk offline. <laughs> yeah, no. Matter of fact, no. <laughs> <laughs> you told me that story in my brain. I'm gonna I'm like, look, and where? it's still gonna be recording on the thing. <laughs> hey, y'all got this. I'm like, where were you? <laughs> <laughs> He's got it under your shirt. This big Yo, ass you, mic. <laughs> you can tell you've been in some crazy rela- relationships because oh, yeah. when you got here, you're like, "Where's your camera?" Because you thought I had a, like a, a hidden camera somewhere. <laughs> no, because you usually film it. And I didn't see no camera set yeah, up. Yeah, just it's in the way. So I thought you had like some little shit, and I'm just like, oh my god, poor man. Only if they knew they're being recorded. <laughs> Time's up. It's you our turn. Some, How like, many years have men been recording us? God damn, you're judging me now. Yeah, for for real. Listen, you've stalked your ex, which is oh no, I, I don't know. That's I, a I haven't though. stalked an ex. Oh, you stalked the next. <laughs> That's a lot worse. You're harassing a stranger. <laughs> no, no. I try not to do any of that anymore. I That used to be, but, gee, I'm healed. I'm not toxic anymore. Yeah, okay. Until you find a guy that you <laughs> like, and the next thing you know, he breaks your heart, and then boom. Nah. Sandy Cheeks is back to no, cause no, no. havoc. <laughs> I will say what I did do. So this guy that I was dating, like, threw me for a loop, right? So he, like, made me sad. And, Half relationship. Yeah, well, I didn't realize it, because I've never done this before dating is new to me this is why you take your time to get to know yeah. somebody i knew him since i was 13 yo i'm, I'm starting to see you are the problem I, just, yeah, I guess i just don't i'm like i just want to see the good in everybody yeah that's a, that's the that's a bad trait that's a really bad trait that's how so, you end up with toxic men for a long time yeah because you're like oh he'll change while well, he's like punching you into the floor oh he's just, he, this is, he's only mad he'll get over he'll be happy in a second <laughs> <laughs> he hits me because he loves me. Yeah, <laughs> these are love taps. <laughs> love is pain. They always said love is pain. Oh my god! This, this episode is I gone know. Off the rails. This is gone off the rails. But anyway, this guy, he, whatever. I like after he, we didn't talk anymore. I was like, I felt crazy because I thought for sure because he didn't talk to me. Like, and I have never, it's I've never really that's never happened to me before. So I was fucking going crazy. I like reactivated my Facebook and to see if he still was alive. I thought maybe he died. Really? I was dead. I was like, oh, he must be dead. So I went there and I was almost hoping that he was. And then when I saw that he was still alive, I was like, this motherfucker hasn't called me. Yeah. So not only are you crazy, you're delusional. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I thought he was dead. I hoped he was dead because he used to ride a bike and, and I he, got like so a Because he ghosted you. Was this your first time being ghosted? You literally thought he ghosted. Like, he just you literally I, I thought he I was hoping he was actually ghost. dead. I, th- I was hoping. Because he also <laughs> rode bikes, and I got, like, a citizen's app alert that someone died on a bike. And I was like, oh, it's probably him. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then I was like, it couldn't be me. And then I went on Facebook, and I saw he, and he is very much still alive. Nice. Yeah. Shout out to that guy, man. Keep living out there, man. Yeah, he actually <laughs> just texted me the other day and said that he watches my podcast. Nice. That was the first time since he ghosted me. Shout out to you, ghost. 
He's still alive out there, <laughs> yeah. stalking her now. <laughs> you see? The tables have turned. The tables, the have, tables have, turned. have turned. How long ago was this that you did that? It was um like the summer. Oh, my God. I thought this was years ago. <laughs> no. I've healed. I've healed since. since. Then. <laughs> no, I just, I never. By healed, it. I mean, I've been in my apartment all winter and I haven't gone out, but the summer's coming back around. And, and I feel better about and it, And yeah. the toxicity level is about to hit a new fucking level. Yeah. No. About to hit a new peak. I just had never, that had never happened to me. Now, I wasn't really ghosted. How are you in the summertime? Are you are you like looking for relationships in the summertime? Are you like, nah, I'm gonna enjoy being single? Um, no. Last summer there was a point. Since I've been single, there was a point that I was like, yo, I'm never gonna get in a relationship again because I was having. I was just like, I loved it. Right. I loved just like doing what the fuck I wanted to do. Um, it's fun being a whore. I, I don't know why really I keep pointing whore. at yeah, the camera. I don't know what you're doing. I wasn't <laughs> hey guys, really a whore, hey but I just. Yo, I had never been single before. This is like, I've been in oh, relationships, relationships forever. Relationship to relationship. So I was like, I love this shit. Do you now always feel I like you need like 100% over it. a man's company? Are you no. like. No, no, I was completely. So when I first got single, I didn't, I didn't speak to a man or talk to anybody for eight months. I just stood and it was like the pandemic. So like, I didn't have really anybody to talk to. So I was like, I need to sit with myself and make sure I don't need anybody. Makes a lot of sense. You fucking yeah. snapped during the pandemic. <laughs> you had your little Wilson over here. You had a volleyball with period blood on it. And shit. Not even, you had a tampon. You became friends with a tampon that had a face on it. Like, I love how you turned me being not toxic <laughs> into a toxic thing where you're like, you're a crazy bitch. <laughs> you're like, who takes time for themselves? <laughs> Eight months? Eight months, and I didn't talk to nobody. Then I was like, I mean, then somebody. Things, things you, had got, to, you had to interact with somebody. Oh, I mean, I met Friends. men. Of Friends. course, with my friends. You weren't, oh, you weren't like, no, I wasn't like, like openly seeking. Yeah, like I wouldn't. Like I was attention. asked on like dates and stuff and I would say no and I wasn't uh -huh. on apps and then eventually, you know, got horny. So yeah, I, I can imagine like, eight like, months. Eight months, and I was like, I got how many it. batteries did you run through those eight months? <laughs> Yo, it got it got dark. I was like charging was my vibrator, trying to use it while it was like charging, <laughs> like it was a fucking laptop. It's like mad, mad, mad close to the wall and shit because the fucking extension cords like this long and I shit. I have my legs up against the wall because I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's Yo, like, like uh, 30 Amazon. There's a new box of Amazon coming yeah. every day. It's it's not big enough. Yo, not big enough. <laughs> it got bad. Yeah, it got bad. Jeez. I watched Bridgerton on Netflix. Is that the 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 rich people where it's like a no? A, it's the, like from the, the black back in the family. Day. Is yeah, like royalty. Yeah, some royalty. Sh I don't really. Yeah, but the, the storyline was horrible. I didn't care about it at all. But it, the, there was he was so good looking, and you know he was. Were there sex scenes in that? Yeah, and it was like very cute, like a very fantasy. Was it like euphoria level type sex? No, no, no. Scenes? This was like it was like um, she's a virgin and like had never had sex, and he shows her the way, and she loves it, and they fuck it all the time, everywhere. It was very. And she's a virgin, but she's like great in the scene. She doesn't look of course, like yeah, a virgin. right. It's like no, oh, no, no, no. At first, she has no idea what she's doing, and then when she's trying to get pregnant, she like throws him down and gets on top when she realizes that. Yeah, because how would they know back then without porn? You know what right? I mean? Like, like, how do you know do? how to be a hoe? No, I'm sure they didn't. I'm sure they, everybody was having bad sex. Yeah. Because if you look at like no. um, like Orthodox Jews and stuff, because they don't watch like TV and stuff, like they don't. I mean, maybe some of them watch TV now, but they're not supposed to. This is just a theory of mine, right? I believe prostitutes were the ones you know what i mean like Who they did were it? yeah like because you know they had like sex slaves back in the day and there's like the whole karma suit yeah, there's like the yeah. whole art of it and i'm pretty sure like the high-end prostitute the whorehouses they were called whorehouses by the way i mean you know that's what they're called oh brothels i use brothels all right so yeah, the brothels like they did, uh, were they called whorehouses yeah i mean a layman's term but it, it was brothel but there's you know, oh, a yeah. whorehouse and, oh yeah uh, like in game of thrones yeah game of thrones yeah. and um they would have like you know these these different exotic women and it would teach them the ways of, you know, being a whore. Mm -hmm. And uh, the husbands that went there, like, you know, their experiences, oh, like, wow, she did this. And they go back home, like, honey, and they teach can you way. do this with your tongue and my taint? And you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, where'd you, where the fuck did you get this shit, Bartholomew? Wow. And I'm like, uh, uh, not nah, Dave, I heard about it in the market. Yeah. <laughs> you know Dave cheats on his wife. Dave, Dave, <laughs> he, he said he heard it from a prostitute. I don't go to prostitutes. Oh, no, yeah, no, no. I would it's never just you, go. honey, but he told me this prostitute that did this to his butthole. And Yo, prostitutes <laughs> for the win, because the prostitutes are the reason why, like, porn started. Because I watched yeah. The Deuce, and, like, that's... Uh, did you watch that, that show? No, I heard about it, though. Yeah, it. and it's just, yeah. like, they started doing porn and then they got off the streets that way but yeah. they were showing you how it was done no well, porn is the reason online shopping exists no what yeah porn like is well we all know porn carried the internet right so it's just like you I had internet for other stuff but people you know or everybody used it 
for porn. You know what I mean? Like I had some no, people I actually might use had no for, idea. You know, some people might use it for writing. Different groups might use it for editing. Some other people might, you know, listen to music. But every single one of them watches porn. That's right? true. I never thought about that. And there's this movie about it. I forget what it's called. But it basically explains how um, they were trying to sell the porn, right? Uh-huh. So the guy came up with this program where you can put your credit card information. Because it's like, how can you pay for something on the internet? Yeah. So he came up with the program on how to um, buy porn. And, it, you know, it was a way that um, the companies were, like, they were just middlemen. They're like, yo, yeah. you're not paying these strangers. It's a, it's a secure system. They get their money. You give us your money, they get their money, and everybody's happy. And it blew up into this whole thing. They started making, like, fucking millions and billions of dollars from it. It got into the porn industry. And then somebody came to them like, yo, your fucking program is crazy. We want to use this for other stuff. Holy shit. So that's how online shopping came. Look at you. you such a lover of porn that you even know the history. No, it was just a movie I learned this from. And then I found out the movie is based on, on true, true stuff. And then I looked into it after that. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, yeah. it does make sense, though. Yeah. I never even thought about that. Like, everybody watches porn. Yeah. Amazon. Amazon, Amazon was a bookstore. But well, yeah. That's that. crazy. You know what I mean? I remember they when buy, Amazon just yeah, sold books. It was just a Kindle. Yeah. yeah. I didn't read back then. So I like I just I don't heard read. I, I wish I did. Yeah, I only read in jail. That's like the only time well, I could read. That's like most. have no choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. have no choice. Did you read a lot? Yeah. I read the Game of Thrones book, like all five of them in like two weeks. Are you I was serious? Like binge reading. Because I was in the box. I was I was in I was only coming out for like half hour. Why would why? I got cold with weed. With weed? Yeah. I brought weed in. And they found some of it. They didn't get most of it. They only just found one balloon. Oh, my God. How long were you in there? Four months. <laughs> oh, my it God. It broke me. <laughs> I <Yeah>. snapped. <laughs> I was going to be like, what the fuck? That was my breaking point. Yeah. Do you go to therapy? Nope. Yeah. You can. You should. I know, but. You'll feel have, so good. I'm, I'm trying to get Medicaid right now so I can get like a decent. Yeah, yeah. Because I have a shitty ass fucking health insurance to my job. Mm-hmm. So if I go through them, I'm going to get a shitty one anyways and pay money. Pay more money. That's true. So if I'm yeah, so a wait. One, yeah. But you should. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it will work on me. You know, they'd be like no, certain don't people. Do that. It, it, they'd be like, yo, it won't work. No, I've no, I've never heard that. If you're committed to wanting it to work, it's going to work. You yeah. have to just want to change. Yeah, but I do want to change. So then try it. I mean, isn't this therapy right now? No, Aren't not we... really, but I think we only did one confession, right? <laughs> what do we, okay. Okay, I want to do the next one. I don't know what we, we didn't give this guy, just don't, I don't know, do it if you want. Um, okay. Wait, what was it again? The though? guy with his baby mama. Like, oh, do it, listen. I guess, if you want. Yeah, I don't know. I don't you really know what? Care. You deal with that. Yeah, it's not you our know? problem. Um, okay. Haven't had sex in six years and just started dating someone new. Should I tell him how long it's been? I'm basically a virgin again. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not a virgin again, but yeah. should you tell him? Six I mean, years I, is a really fucking long time. Yeah. And I'm sure in how my old head. Is she? I don't know. D- dude, like I don't know who these people are. <laughs> Wait, so these are just random questions? No, just, this is this is a like I have a, a Google Doc and people just send uh, me things that like anonymous. Well, they can tell me who they are, but most people just send it to me anonymously. Anonymously, yeah. Um It was a girl, right? I forgot what I just read. I have the munchies like a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm literally like picturing. I'm literally picturing like cheese fries in my head. Is that what I look like? No. You saying I, just, I got cheese fries face? No, but I. Oh my god, I'm like picturing like the like. Oh my god. Yo, my mouth is watering right now. <laughs> you said the cheese fries. I started picturing the right? cheese dripping off oh the side god, with the little bacon it bits oh, on it. See, yeah. now nah, you threw me off with the bacon. You don't put bacon on your. I don't eat fries? meat. Yo, like a remedy mozzarella stick right now? Oh, all right, yeah, but you're not vegan. No, 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 no. Right. I, do eat, I just said cheese fries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so I don't Sorry. think this girl, I mean, for me, this is how I feel. If she hasn't done it in six years, she's putting a lot of value, I'm sure, on whoever she's going to have sex with next. Right. So maybe have the conversation with him, because if he's not on the same page as you, and he just fucks you and it's not serious to him, then you, why did you just give up those six years for? That is true. So I feel like she should have a conversation. Well, this is the thing, right? Six years. That's a long time. Yeah. So she's vulnerable right now. If he knew how to play his cards, he'd fuck her. He could fuck her very easily. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Because, all right, let's say you guys are dating, and you're like, all right, I'm going to take it slow. I'm just going to make out. But what are you going to do when she starts kissing your neck or he starts hitting the right spots, and all of a sudden, you know, your pussy starts getting the munchies, 
And your pussy starts picturing pussy those starts fries. Yeah, it starts picturing the mozzarella sticks. Yeah, it starts getting watery, picturing that mozzarella stick just stretching out. <laughs> and then next thing you know, boom, you fall for it quicker. I don't. Do so you think she should just have like a just fuck one random no. guy just to get it out the way? No. Right? And no, then. You really are so insane. <laughs> I don't know if it's because you're Dominican or a Scorpio. I could be joking also. I don't know. I could be joking. No, I mean. I don't think you're joking. I mean, uh, what would be the thing, is, like, if she does give it up to the guy? Like, she does. But why wouldn't she tell him, though? Why? What's yeah, the deal about also, telling Yeah, and also, yeah. Wouldn't that be a conversation you've. Yeah. I would bring that up, like, easily. What, is the guy not going to believe her? Like, <laughs> yeah, six months, you? Six, six years. <laughs> six years, six years, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. That's a really long time. Have you ever gone, like, a really long time? When I was in jail, that's it. Oh, yeah. So but, I mean, by choice. No, fuck no, bro. I'm, I'm a fucking Dominican Scorpio. I'm a sex addict. <laughs> <laughs> For real. If it's not, if it's not, there's no girls, it's, it's going to be porn in the mix. I'm, how, how, many, how, many, how many times a week are you having sex? Well, I've been kind of busy lately, so I'll be like maybe like... Like six times. Like, two I've been to busy, six, so. two to six. Depends. Because you're busy. So it's only two to six because you're busy. Yeah, I mean, during the pandemic, when I had a lot of time, it was just like maybe twice a day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. And then like. You're living my dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a dream. It's a fucking sickness. It's an addiction. No, it's fun. Um, but yeah, it's. Yo, I, there was times, right? Like, like uh, I think it was um, a few months ago. I got up with my ex. We fucked. We got a hotel room. We fucked twice. Is that the time that you posted your ass? All right, we're not going to go into details. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> so we fucked twice, right? And because we got there late. So we fucked twice that night. And we, kept, we was like smoking wax dash. So we yeah. was out of it. Then we fucked once in the morning before we checked out. And then when I got home, I took a nap, woke up dumb hard and jerked off. I had no need to jerk off, but I just woke up dumb hard and I was like, you know what? Let me look at some black girls right now. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever switch up your categories when you watch porn? Or you got the same thing? No, no, no. You, got, you switch to, it up. Yeah. I, I get into like a, a thing and I'll I'll like it for like a couple weeks. Yeah. And then I'm like, I don't ever want to see that shit again. Yeah. On to the next. Yeah, next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, get very, I get very specific in my searches now. Because like you get, so, yeah, yeah. I use every keyword Curve, I possibly yeah, get. Yeah, like red hair, freckles, French braids, <laughs> fat ass. <laughs> and it's just because I saw some redhead with French braids and a fat ass. I'm like, God damn, let me go jerk off to that later. Yeah, that's Yo, what, that's like I so say this. I, I've said this on stage, but I'm like, I have this, I have this thing where I, I, I don't let myself go back. I have to find the video in the first five pages. Cause I'll oh, just yeah. keep going next and next, and I'll look down and then fucking like you know what I mean? It'd be like page seventeen. Yeah, my ass is all sweaty and <laughs> shit. I'm like sweating. Yo, I will, I'm like, it will take me Ugh. forever to find the right video. I'll be halfway yeah. through and I'm like, yeah. I can do better than this. And I could have came like yeah. two minutes within, same. and I'm like literally edging myself, just stopping myself from coming because like, nah, I don't want to come to this. That's the same thing. Uh, Y'all be on mad videos, and I'm like, I've just wasted so much fucking time. Looking at every thumbnail, like Ew, you know, then, you could look at the thumbnail, oh my like, God, mm, yeah, mm, and the next one. Mm. But do you get that that like post nut where you're like, I hate myself? Almost every time. Yeah, <laughs> Almost and every I'm, time. I'm like, I just wasted. I feel like yeah. I'm such a scumbag. Oh, when it takes long, every time. Oh my god, I feel. If it's bad. quick, I'm yeah, like, uh, like who cares? a little bit, and you get over it. But when it gets to that point where, like, you know, what I mean, like you say you're just covered in sweat, and you're just like. You know what I mean? And then the rhythm was off, so you didn't really come that good. You know what I mean? It wasn't like a come, You waited come. that long, and then it wasn't even yeah, worth it. It was just like, oh, man, I did it up, and I'm supposed to do it down. And it just, you know what I mean? And I, I hesitated the rhythm, and it just, you know what I mean? It just it fucks up the whole session. But I was just like, I did 45 <laughs> minutes For sitting that. on this computer chair. Yo, I know. I feel really, you do it on the computer chair? <laughs> I was like, no, you I mean, don't. I have before. I have. Now I just, I, well, I can't. Too specific. I, I share a house with people. I, say. I don't. I don't want to give away my secrets. Oh my god! Yeah, no, I can't. I I hate myself after. I've been trying to not. 
it feels like it's more uncomfortable for women because like guys could just sit down anywhere. I feel like girls have to like get into a comfortable position yeah, and do. then hold the phone or the laptop. <laughs> it is a lot happening. Yeah. <laughs> do, do girls stand up? Girls have to lay down, right? I'm guessing you guys can't stand up. And no, I sit up like in the shower. Oh, all right, all right, all right, yeah. Because I seem like with guys like laying down, standing up, same thing. Is it the same? I don't yeah. prefer to stand up though. I feel like my because like my legs at the end. It's I, like I'd rather be <laughs> <Just> like shaking. <laughs> I'd rather be laying down. Your legs. That's why I asked. Was like, I feel like like a guy. You know, we we're usually fucking standing up. You know yeah, what I that's mean? True. We're used to that. Uh, and you know, it's like when you stand up. I feel like when you're standing up, you you, you have to like. I'm missing girls to like stand like this to get her pussy wide enough. Because if you're standing, you know what I mean. You got you, a little. Has a girl never like touch herself in front of you? Yeah. Okay, but so I mean, they're usually on their bed. Like they're usually yeah, like that's usually where you are. Yeah, yeah. All, right, all right. But it's because like I'm about to get on top of them afterwards. Yeah, you know. So it's like, but I don't know what I don't know how girl. I feel like girls masturbate different when they're alone <laughs> from when they're in front of a guy. I don't think so. Really? Not for would me. Would you get into it? Like if you're dating a guy, would you get a hundred percent into it like you would if you were by yourself? Yeah. Really? Yeah, one hundred percent. Like you had an audience. Like okay, this guy's watching me now. Yeah, because I'm. Because for me, yeah. Uh, I guess I guess the girls I guess were too mm. shy. The girls I've been were too shy. Like, oh. No, 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 come on, get more comfortable. I want to look at. I want to feel like. I think only one of them. I try to get my baby mom to do that shit. I'm like, I just want to watch you. Yes, yeah. Like, we fucked a thousand times. Yeah. Let me just watch. You know. But it's usually I won't like finish. Cause ah, yeah. uh, that's what I mean. I mean, I guess I could. You but don't want I'm him usually... to see what you really sound like. Oh, no, <laughs> I don't care about any He's of that. He's just watching. He's like. He's like, oh, this bitch is ugly wait, as fuck. What? <laughs> Why she never do that with me? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that. I just if like you're here, right? Like if there's a guy here and I'm doing that, it's like, well now nah, right, I've gotten right. myself this far. You can finish. <laughs> it's like, all right, now leave. Yeah, <laughs> you come and like, all right, get out of here. All right, get the fuck out. <laughs> I just wanted you to stand there and watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna finish with him just watching. I mean, if he wanted that, I guess, but that's not. That mm. wouldn't prefer that. Yeah. This just took a totally sexual. <laughs> this is a sex. Advice podcast? It is. It pretty much is. Yeah. I know. I don't know why I just acted like it like it was a yeah. clean podcast. Everything is. All right. Is, let's go talking back about. About um, this virgin. Yeah. yeah. Tell him. Because then it'll, it could be fun. Yeah. Tell him. That's, yeah. A, that's a fun thing. Because in his head, he goes like, God damn, I might eat her pussy. Yeah. You know what I mean? The oh, my bird. God. Because, wait. So, Derek doesn't eat pussy, right? Like, unless he's dating the girl. Right. What What's your deal? I'm going to have to start asking every straight guy on this thing. Uh, I don't have to be dating them, but. It, it can't just be anybody, though. You know what I mean? Like, one, I'm definitely going to finger first and see what it smells and tastes like. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? If it's a little acidic on the tongue, I'd be like, no, nah, I'm good. A little fishy, I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. She might just get Oh, my God, hand, this makes She me... might get that hand work, but I'm not. And but also, stick, she, this is what I don't do, but you'll stick your dick in her. I'm going to wear a condom. Okay. I'm going to wear a condom, yeah. If I'm fucking a girl raw, I'm eating her. I'm eating her out. Okay. Yeah. And that's what I liked about my ex. Even like on her worst days, it wasn't this. It wasn't that bad. Some girls they could get out the shower. I'm like, yo, did you some stick, I think the, stick the, the whole fucking soap in? There. I think some women have a pH balance that's yeah, off. Yeah, they eat a lot of fried chicken. They eat a lot. <laughs> they eat a lot of. That's not a race thing. I meant like when you eat a lot of fried food. Oh my god, I don't think anybody would have thought it was. Oh, maybe they would have, but I didn't I take I it that way. It head, I yeah. didn't take it that way. Um, okay, here's the next one. My friend asked me on a date and I went. We had a great time, but I don't feel anything. I know he I know he does though. Should I continue? He's the friend. So he's My friend a asked me on a date and I went. Yeah. We had a great time, but I don't feel anything. I I know he does though. Should I continue? No. Yeah. If you don't feel anything, why would you continue? Yeah. Don't. That's, that's, a, you're that's just like you fucking him on. know what the answer is. Why would you even Yeah. Let him know. You 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 just uh you want the attention, but you don't want. Um, she's probably just curious. Yeah, she's entertaining it. She shouldn't entertain. She shouldn't. It. Yeah, no. she's probably doesn't have any hoes right now, and she's probably just yep. being yeah. like, you know what? He's like, oh, he's gonna take me out to eat. Nobody's taking me out. Yeah, to and eat they have a friendship or already, yeah. so it'll probably. Yeah, be and easier. she knows she's not gonna fuck him. He probably knows already. He's not gonna get no pussy because he's been in the friends. That's zone. so. That's crazy. So she knows it's safe. She's like, oh, I'll see. But I don't then, like that. But then she's probably feeling like, uh, like he. Now that she did the date, he probably feels like, oh, okay, let me see. You know, you you inch closer to it. Like, all right, now he, no, he see. definitely thinks because guys. You think he made a move? For me, I feel like this because guys, like, if I'm just friendly with some guys, 
they'll be like, they automatically think that I'm flirting yeah. with them. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if she accepted a date, he 100% thinks she is going to fuck him. Uh, maybe not that night, though. How long? Because if they well, were friends night, for a while. But yeah. But maybe not that night, why. but he that's definitely, he, on, yeah. he thinks like it's possible. Yeah. So she got the wheels going now that the, the date's going. So now he's just like, okay, that's the first step. Let me keep trying now. Instead of her dubbing it from the beginning and be like, no, we're just friends. And if it gets awkward after that, then it is what it is. At that point, he should have just shut the fuck up. This is why I mean you want to play coy. Yeah, I you guess. You know what I mean? Like, if he liked her, if he played the long game, if he really liked her, if he played the long game, girls are fickle. You know what I mean? I don't mean? think that would work on me. Well, you're not a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like, if I'm into you, then it is what it is. But she yeah. does. she's not into him. You can't build that. If you have Yeah, you can. You never read the the art of seduction. You never heard it's. You never read. You should be reading these type no, of books, I don't. especially when you have a podcast like this. I should. The art of well seduction. Versed. I I I I want to read it. Read that book. It literally has all the different. It's the same guy that wrote Forty Laws of Power. He made a, a book with Fifty Cents, uh, the Fiftieth Law of Power. He has uh, the Law of Human Nature, which I'm reading now. Uh, Talk about the, the art of seduction. I want to know more all about right. that. So all his books are basically the same, right? They He uses history as examples. So mm-hmm. he'll use, like, great figures. And then, you know, obviously Cleopatra was one. Um, Casanova was another one. And he just talks about how there's different type of seducers, you know? Like, there's obviously the good-looking ones, and then uh, they can attract people with their looks. And then you have somebody like Cleopatra who... She wasn't all that beautiful, but she knew how to reinvent herself, mm. right? So she did the makeup, she did the hair, yeah. she did all the crazy shit, and then guys fell in love with her. She would play that hot and cold thing, which is called the coquetta, where it's like you show them a little bit of attention and then you pull back. You show them a little bit of interest, and then um, you get to the point where we're like, wait, why did he stop? He was just doing this. And there's like, yeah, this is, I can't explain too much because I haven't read it in a while, but it's just basically that. It shows you the different the different type of seducers. I don't and a like bunch it. Of different stories. No, it's, it's not good for me. to know. No, you need like even even with the Forty Eight Laws of Power book, he goes like, "This is not something to use to manipulate people. But, the, but this is something that you need to know because whether you like it or not, you're a part of this game. You are a part of the, like these guys are doing these things and you don't even realize it. Yeah, because girls it, are doing. Then this. I'm just over it. Like that doesn't work mm. on me because it's like if you're doing that hot and cold, I don't, I cannot. But there's different types. There's different. There's not. That's just one of the types. That's of one of the seducers, things. Well, that doesn't work on me. But there's different types of, and they go I'm through also, all the I'm types also of seducers. Yeah, I'm, I know. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I've it's, definitely I've, been like, I've what seen, does this mean? I've seen her get called ugly and instantly fall in love with the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't gas Derek up. Nobody would fall in love with nobody. She was smitten. She <laughs> Derek's was definitely in love with smitten. me. Derek's in love. He he's you know obsessed. you see you see in her story when she posted that old guy what's her type she was thinking about Derek <laughs> <laughs> that old guy <laughs> that old guy you know who that old guy was that's the uh, Anna Nicole yeah Smith's he's husband. so fucking rich yeah, I know but he's oh my dead god now. he's dead but he's I dead. Wish. I don't think I don't think she got the money either she didn't but that's hilarious I I that's need to so find funny. an old man on with on an oxygen tank that has no kids. His cat's gonna get it. No, <laughs> his cat in a foundation. Are I'll you ready? Sure. <laughs> you ready for a question? Let's go. All right. What would you rate yourself in bed? They didn't give us a scale, but let's do one to ten. I'd say probably like between a six and a seven, depending yeah. on what. Playing mo- coy. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to rate the different things I could do in bed, then we can go separate. You know what I mean? I say my dick game is probably like a six and a seven. I said my head game is probably like a, a between eight and a half and nine and a half. Uh, Wait, oh, well, you're, you're Dominican. That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And also, I dated when I was 17. Yeah. I dated a girl who was 21, and she literally like gave me a guide. She just like used her pussy as like, here, I'm going to teach you how to eat some pussy. You're That's terrible. That's definitely, at it. I've watched a porn just like that. Yeah, it was like a porn. <laughs> she looked like this. She looked like Jessica Simpson. But you know, she didn't, she didn't really have like a crazy body like that. But you she like white girls? Good. I mean, at that time, it was I, I've been I'm, I I jump between Hispanic and white. Right now, uh, the African American. <laughs> yeah, got a little get a little Nubian princess. Okay. Uh, All right, so you don't really turn down anybody. You're equal. No, I don't have it. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not. Yeah, my dick's not racist. Dick's not racist at all. I mean, my baby mother's black. Yeah. Yeah, but she, I've only I was like at that point I think I was only I was only with like two black girls. Mm-hmm. And uh, B 
big black girls. BBW. Oh my god. The the I don't know if Ebony, what you're saying they love is, me. I don't know if what we're you're big black girls love me. Oh mm-hmm. my god. I don't know if what we're saying is cor- is, is 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 appropriate. I don't know that people. These are porn. Can, I know. I know. It's actually true because you can these be are porn titles. Uh, even it's not like, like I'm the saying most the progressive crazy ones. person goes on porn and they are just the worst pre- people. Like the things uh, you put in your yeah, search yeah, is very yeah, yeah. very offensive. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to find what you want. <laughs> Borderline illegal. <laughs> Yo, you ever put? You ever put something so crazy in your search and there's not even? I'm like, oh, no, it doesn't come up. You're only, you're the only sick person who could think of that. That's never happened to you? Uh, a couple times, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I was oh. like, no way. I start going on other websites. No, this can't be wrong. This is wrong. I have to find Pornhub has to have You're just some flagging X video, X hamster, all of them. That comes up. You're just flagging X the FBI. XNXX. I'm going through all of them. I'm like, what? Next thing you know, you're going Nobody. to Google. You're scared to go to Google. You're going to fuck up your algorithm and shit. Oh, no. I, I only look at porn on the private. Somebody. Oh, I don't care. I don't give a fuck about that. But I clear my shit a lot. No, I, I only <laughs> I go in on that. And one time I was at... um. I was at like a rehearsal dinner before a wedding, right? And I was talking to my friend and she was saying that she was in a store with her husband and she touched her phone, put it in her pocket. And then all of a sudden you heard like, ah, ah. And it was like her porn was playing on her phone, right? And it was on her regular browser. And I was like, girl, no, you have to do it on the private one. And she's like, what's that? And I went to show her and I went on the private and my porn was up in the middle of a rehearsal dinner. And then you just heard like, and it was some wild shit. And I was like, (laughs) (laughs) I had something like that happen to me. You know how like, um, like before, like getting caught with porn was you left the video. Yes. Or you forgot to close the page. Yo, my brother would do that all the time. He would forget. He would forget, and my mom would go on and be like, "Michael, this is disgusting." <laughs> That's a lot. Thank God my mom didn't know how to use a computer, man. <laughs> but um, the new one is like not like you know what I mean. I, I finish, and I'm like, I got to clean the mess, or you know, do whatever to finish up, and then I'll close the the browser. Yeah. And then I'll you be like, forget. I'll be going to talk to somebody. I'm like, oh, hold on. Like, yo, I got to show you this thing real quick. And the first thing that pops, wait, let me double check. <laughs> like, I got to show. Yeah, that would have been so funny. You go to open internet browser, and then you just see, see the it. video. Yeah. Just like and a girl getting, but yeah, it's, it's never great. Yeah, it's never nothing you're proud of, you know? <laughs> it's never nothing regular. Yo, it's never. I, yeah, sometimes it's never. I'm done with porn, I'm like, you're a disgusting. <laughs> yeah. The shit you just watched. <laughs> Yo, I'm like, I can't believe myself. I'm ashamed. <laughs> yeah, uh, all the time, Yo, man. Yo, porn is ruining us. Oh, 100%, bro. There's so, there was a time, right, I had to stop watching porn because I, I wouldn't be able to go a second round. Like, I, I'd fuck once. Like, you know, I was not fucking, common. What do you mean? Most people can't go, can, can't go a second round. Like men? Yeah. You mean, like, finish and then how long in between? Definitely within a half hour. Yeah, that's not that's not common. Definitely within a, 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 a guarantee within two hours. If we're if we're like oh, sitting we around two hours, yeah. maybe I even like an hour. Maybe even in an hour. Because if you stay naked in bed, it's so easy to get aroused again. I used to date a girl who would never let me go into her bed with clothes. Like after we finished, I go to put my underwear on because I can't sleep without <laughs> like completely naked. I feel you know what I mean. That's too much freedom. To sleep naked. That's, you know what I mean? Because my, my thing goes all I'm over that the place. Girl. I you don't, don't allow, you, like, get your fucking clothes off. Yeah. No, but I mean completely yeah. naked. Like, even after you're fucking, you're going to go to bed. He yeah. Has, really? Cannot. And I get like, I'm like, come, what do you, why would you have clothes on? Because yeah. I'm going to sleep now. Yeah. And then, but that's how we end up fucking again. Because, like, well, yeah. I could be half asleep of sometimes. Of course. We turn around, we spoon a little bit, her bare ass is on me, and then it's just, all right, let's go. Yeah. Again. Yeah, that's that was her logic, and it made sense because like if we put your underwear back on, like oh, I'm done for the yeah, night. Yeah, I don't like sleep, that. Sleep and then but she's like, no, I would no, no. prefer. No, no, no. I would prefer the person that I'm dating to not wear clothes ever. That's true. And I'm like, I just feel like, why would we have clothes on? Yeah, especially if y'all live by yourself. I haven't lived like by myself with the girl since I was 17. Like my baby mother, we had our kid by the time we moved in together. Yeah. And then, you know, I was older than my parents, roommates, oh. or I lived by myself. And I think for Alabama for a bit, I dated a girl and, you know, she'd walk around the house naked. Sometimes. Yeah. I have a bunch of pictures that, I, that I've showed, that I've showed her. They're not candid. I've seen them all. I've, I've asked for permission. Oh, I, I posted girls half naked on my story, no. but it was always their permission. Okay. Always with their permission. I hate that shit. I don't do it no more. No one's ever done that to me, but like I, when people no. have done that, I'm like, yo, I would be pissed. No, I mean, like, I'm literally like, you know, 
I, one came up in my memory uh, <laughs> today. Your face. One came up in my memory today, and we was just chilling in the hotel room, and she was just walking around. I just took a picture of her, and then when she came uh, late down, I was like, yo, can I post this? Oh, my and God. That's like, almost... Yeah. I, no one's ever asked me, but now the, the way you just said that, I'd be like, I'd be like really? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo, let me post this. <laughs> no, but I wouldn't let it, but I would be like, oh, that's really... And I, I did some weird stuff to it where, like, you know those art filters? Yeah, can I see it? Yeah, I think I could show I'll yeah, show you after. Wait, no one's going to see it. It might come up. It might come up. Now I'm, I'm saying. Fuck, I'll show the whole... No, I won't. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, won't. I wouldn't let you. I'll get shit. And I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. Most of my following is women, so... All right, yeah, let me just... I'll, just I'll find it after. I'll show you okay. afterwards. I'll show you afterwards. I'll report back to the people. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah. I want to see what you can pull. You seen what I can pull? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you seen it. Okay. Um, I, your voice, you have a good voice, by the way. Thank you. I've heard that. Somebody actually masturbated to my voice. Oh my God. So this is what I was going to tell you. I was listening to this. So it got so dark for me in that eight months where I wasn't talking to guys that I downloaded some app where guys like tell you dirty stories. <laughs> yeah, I swear women are so weird, man. You could yeah, just saw, watch dirty I movies. I literally saw an ad for it on Instagram. It popped up for me and I was like, yeah. And it was an actor. Do you watch Insecure or ever watched it? No. So it was a guy who plays Dro. <laughs> <laughs> it was him and i was like yo i love because i love him on the show um and his voice is so sexy and i and i i, I paid for the ad and then i like did it for one month and, and he says he says stories. like yeah it's like a story he's telling you about and he's like talking to you is he saying your name no <laughs> i wish you, you pre-record your name before oh sam i love the way <laughs> i brush your nipples and uh, when you choke me you scream my name no, but Sam. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so funny! I can't. Oh, the robot Yo, voice, the you, Siri voice. Do you remember like those Zane books? Zane. Zane used to write books, like sex books, and I would read those shits. And like, before, this is like before, like my family computer was like in the living room, and there was like no way for me to ever watch porn. So You're holding a book <laughs> with one hand, just like. <laughs> we we'll go to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Looking your fingers in my <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. Yo, on that note, that's where we're gonna end it. That's where we're gonna end it. That was this was a lot of fun. Plug yourself to everybody where they can find you. Can I just t finish telling the girl masturbating to my voice real quick? It's oh a yes. Quick story. Yes. So so one time uh, we was on Facetime and she was in bed mm -hmm. and I started reading the Forty Eight Laws of Power. Mm -hmm. And I just started like reading because I was like, oh, I'm reading. And then she got mad quiet. Yeah. And I'm just sitting there. She's like, oh, keep reading to me. And I'm reading, I'm reading. And then I was just like, yo, what are you doing? She's like, shut up and just keep reading. And then I, I was like, yo, are you jerking? And I was like, don't stop. Just keep going. And I'm like, literally just reading the 48 Laws of Power. Shout out to Robert Greene. And she fucking came to my voice. I use what? it as a credit with women, yes. <laughs> That's a credit. I can make you come with my voice. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I can't even imagine that. I mean, also, I downloaded. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, but she, but got, reading, she got the live version. She yes, got the but live you, podcast. You are, you're not saying anything sexy. I guess she just wanted the voice. She just oh. just the voice. And I'm talking about powerful men. Yeah, I Genghis guess. Khan you know what? Yeah. The whole They're mountain clan. And wreaked havoc and raped all, right. all the villagers. What are you trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I, we gotta end this. Tune it's getting in, weird for me. <laughs> tune in next time. We're oh Sam. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. All right. Well, tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, you could find me at GeoPrez86. G-E-O. People always put G-I-O. I don't blame oh, them. Oh, yeah. But G-E-O Prez86. Uh, if this comes out before this next Tuesday, yeah, uh, where I'll be at the stand March seventeenth, twenty three and one. Me and uh, old Derek Dresch, uh, yes. produced a show together. He was the last guest. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what? Else? Oh, we have on the gate podcast. Listen oh, to yes. our podcast. I was on it with Shadi. Yeah, we give we give. It's just like this, but for people in jail. We give sex advice to people in incarceration. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All right, you guys, you know where to find me, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Peace.